Hi, my name is Pranalni. We are going to learn how to set up debug NetEaser log through this video. This debug NetEaser log would be very helpful for us to troubleshoot uh, when we have any ODBC driver problems or any ODBC uh, rejects or any data problems where the Informatica session log, regular session log doesn't give the complete information. We would ask for this ODBC debug log. So we need to and know like how to set up this debug logging. On this agenda, the driver manager and the NetEaser ODBC drivers use a configuration file named dot ODBC install INI to get information about ODBC drivers. During the NetEaser ODBC driver configuration process, we supply like configuration on the NetEaser ODBC driver by modifying entries in the dot ODBC insert INI file. In this video, I would go with the configuration for Unix system or the Linux system. So we need to have some environmental variables set in order to uh, provide the path where this configuration files exist. We have two important variables. One is the ODBC INI and the other one is the NZ ODBC INI path. Both needs to be set in that profile. And um, ODBC INI normally would point to the location and the file name itself like ODBC INI file. And the NZ ODBC INI path it's just the path where the ODBC install INI file exists. So in order to enable this uh, debug logging, after the environmental variables are set, we would go to this file ODBC install INI or dot ODBC install INI and in the NetEaser SQL section when we open this file, we'll set the debugging logging equal to true and provide a log file path where the debug log needs to be generated. We'd save this file and run a NetEaser session through our application for us to get the debug logging. So I will be demonstrating the setup on a Unix system. So this is a Linux system. First we need to make sure the profile is set correctly. In the profile, we see ODBC home, which is pointing to the path where the ODBC driver managers are installed. ODBC INI is a complete path with the file name ODBC.INI. NZ ODBC INI path is just a path where the ODBC installed INI file is located. Here in this example, ODBC INI and NZ ODBC INI path both are located in the ODBC home directory. So I would go to ODBC home directory to fetch this file ODBC install INI. And here we see the debug logging is set to true and the log path is set to slash TMP. That's where the debug logging will be created. The sample file ODBC install INI and the ODBC INI would come along with the NetEaser driver installation. We can move it to the path we need and uh, set up the contents of this file to the port and the NetEaser server we are using. So I will show how the uh, slash TMP looks when the jobs are run. So here we would see like there are quite a few NZ logs are 
generated because of the run from our application accessing this debugging configuration to generate the debug trace so we have one at on December 28th which is PCN underscore ext netizen now check one with the process ID dot ng log so this is required whenever we need to troubleshoot uh, more on the driver issues so um, whenever we are asked to set a debug log on the netizen this is the procedure to complete and generate the netizen log we have a lot of uh, knowledge base articles in order to set the netizen debug log and uh, uh, when are the possibilities uh, with the misconfiguration the log is not getting generated so we can refer to these articles hope this video is helpful please email us at support videos at informatica.com or tweet us at infosupport thank you